Hey everyone, this is Lurtz and today I'm going to show you how to set up your configuration on your Raspberry to use your Raspberry Pi camera with Python Pi camera. So let's go! So for this video I'm going to use the remote desktop. If you don't know how to set up a remote desktop, watch this video. I'm going to play, explain everything there. and. In the last video about the Pi camera, we learned how to connect your camera to Raspberry Pi and check if it's available. So if you want to know this one, check my other video. So, so the first thing we have to do is to install the package. So we type in sudo apt ins install python Pi camera and Python 3 Pi camera. So I've done this previously, so I don't have to do anything. Uh, as a next point, you should check if you are in the permission groups. So you type in groups and then you see that you're here in this group. If you are not in this group, you have to type sudo usermod minus ag and then the group name, its video and your username in my case it's Lutz. If you want to learn more about the settings of uh, user groups and permissions, you can watch this video there, I show everything about it. So. For programming the Raspberry Pi, I've prepared a small script and I'm using the Tony program. If you want to install it yourself, you can also use the sudo apt command and then you just type in Tony. And I've prepared a small script here. So what we do is that we include the Pi camera and we import the Pi camera and the color. The color we don't need at the beginning, but for later it's better to include it directly. Then we just create an object and give it the name camera and then we directly capture a picture. So when I hit the button, I can check in the folder where I saved that file. I can check the picture. So it's not really beautiful, so I will hold the camera a bit different. And then we can see that it's updated, now it's showing me, so it's a bit more beautiful. But for sure this is not really practical, so normally we, normally we want to see what we take as a picture before we take the picture. So what we can do in that case, we type camera point start preview and then we just sleep for don't know two seconds and then we take our capture so yes okay for this we need to import from time we have to import sleep now we do it again but as you see nothing is happening I don't see any preview what's wrong here the problem is, as I mentioned before, I'm working on a remote system and the preview version is only working if you're working directly on your Raspberry because the video will be transmitted directly to the primary video output. So if you are remotely working on the Raspberry, the preview mode is not working with Pi Camera. But for me it doesn't matter, just for showing you how it works, it's no problem. So. Okay, what can we do next? We can change the resolution of the camera. So we can type in camera point resol resolution and then you can set it to the uh, example, take that one. And when you now run your script, you can see that the resolution has changed again. Okay, what else can we do here? We can change the ISO settings. In that case, I would just set it to 400. Okay, as next, we want to change the white balance. So we type in camera 
and automatically white balance and set the mode and then we say it's sunlight that's not really true because I'm inside but it's just for some tryout and then we can say run and we can check if it's anything changed inside of the picture and for me it's looking a bit more blue so can use it again with a picture of me and here we go I think this is a bit more in changing of the colors so if you want to use the other mode for white balancing I will give you the information in the description of the video where to find all the options which are available so what we also can change is the brightness this is a value between 0 and 100 and it's starting with 50 so if you go above 50 then it will be a bit brighter if you go less 50 it will be a bit darker so when we check it you see it's getting brighter we can close this we don't need it right now so next thing what we can change is the contrast this is going from minus 100 to 100 and it's starting with zero so you can set it to let's say 50 and then we can check what's happening And we see that we have a lot of contrast inside depending on what you like to do so the next thing is resolution we are next thing is saturation this is the same working like contrast it's from minus 100 till 100 so we give it a 20 or something like this and okay i forgot to hold the camera so they see the saturation has changed so what else is helpful i think what i like is the rotation feature so here you can type in, in 0 90 180 and 270 so we just use 180 for showing you how it works and then it's directly on the other side and these are the basics of the camera so there's another feature i want to show you in the first video for pi camera so this is the option how to overlay a text inside so i'm just using annotate text and I have to hold the camera again. Here you see now there's slots typed, so you can change this using that option. So there's another thing I want to show you with the annotation. So what we can do is we can change the background to a color, and that's the reason why I imported here on the top the color. So we just type in color and let's say we want to have a green one and then we just run it uh, there's a mistake inside so what's happening now now the background is green for that annotation we put in just a name but I like more to put in some complex stuff so we will put in now the date of today so the way we do this is that we import the datetime as dt and then we just write in dt point date time now and then we say string former time and want to have the hours 
and the minutes and the seconds and then we hit the run button and if there's no typo in it will work so I corrected the typo and now you see that it's just running and when we check the picture we see that we have stated here the time now and that's what we wanted so yeah that were the first things I wanted to show you with the Pi camera using Python so I think this is also understandable if you are not a Python programmer at all and uh, yeah I hope to see you next time next time we will talk a bit about videos using Python Pi camera and that's all for today. See you next time. Goodbye.